Hello everybody and welcome to the modern rock scene. Today we are going to be taking a look at some Hollandite inclusions and quartz and I will give you my personal layperson's theory on the displacement of quartz inclusions because it just blows my mind. I think it's one of the more interesting things on this subject so let me just sort of wonder out loud about it. What it is, it's an inclusion that forms a beautiful star shape in a quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've heard the description say that they have like six stars and it looks like that it seems correct in this case, but I've seen some that are combining stars and when you count the points, it's just, it'll be something else. So what these are, the Hollandite, the little black or white things inside the quartz are gonna be made of barium and manganese, lead, iron, and aluminum. Probably one or two other things. The part that blows my mind is this. Have you seen a video that shows something crystallizing like ice? They show it sort of in a fast motion. I don't know how fast it is. It could just basically be that the materials reach such a critical point in pressure and temperature that they crystallize almost like a boiling point. Whenever that's happening, there's a, a great structural organization, especially probably in the quartz, or equally, but there's no space. So the inclusion has to find some way to exist in there, and the quartz also has to cooperatively allow it. The more I think about it, the more it seems like the rules of chess, in that certain pieces can only move in certain directions, then when you get the right combination of factors going, there's one. Oh my goodness, look at that. Then basically the quartz and the inclusion will cooperate in such a way, maybe they heal together. The results and the artifact they leave behind are just mind blowing. So anyway, thank you for listening to my ponderance about that. Let's take a look at this. Wow, big star. So we're gonna see this in detail. Absolutely beautiful. And here's the little root. Here's the last one we're looking at. This one might be one of the best ones. It's gonna require macro though. Which one is the clearest? Well, thank you everybody for joining me today and trying to learn something empirically right along with me. I will see you the next time. Thank you so much.